Ashley, and you are not going to believe where I am. I am here in Orlando, Florida at Ranger Stop. It's about to go down. Come with me. I am with the beautiful, beautiful Miss Hillary here. Oh my gosh, you guys know her as Diva Talks. I'm not really Eva, really. <laughs> I am, actually. She is probably yeah. one of the most lovely people I've ever met. She just scared me. Acting. <laughs> Acting. That's what it is. Amazing actress. Beautiful woman. Thank you. I heard that you used to model before you got into acting. Was well, that yeah, very briefly. I was um, Johnny Versace and Diane von Furstenberg's model when I was like, a teenager. Oh, my God. Okay, so very briefly. <laughs> and it's like two of the top designers who were like iconic yeah. to the fashion industry. I had no idea. I was just a kid. I was like, whatever. Cool. That's amazing. And it was a great way to make money instead of having to be a waitress. And then um, I went to Northwestern and studied acting, and then USC, wow. and I did um, comedy improv at the Groundlings with Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, Cassandra Peterson, and yeah. um, Pee Wee Herman, and so I learned all my skills there. Yeah, yeah, and that's the thing. A lot of people don't know that we are, you know, we're on a show like Power Rangers, and and they don't realize that there are people who are trained actors exactly. who <laughs> grace their presence on the show, which is amazing. I mean, gosh, you worked with legends even at the Growlings. That's yeah, Growlings really is a fun. very hard school to go through. Like it's an act. I mean, it's like improv. Yeah. And, I mean, and then you get to be in the company and you get yeah. In. And I learned so much because. When I got the Power Ranger part, it was just sort of, you know, it was a good part written on the page, but they let me improvise. So all my lines, like Viva La Diva, and <gasps> everything is what I made up. And I went to the prop master and I said, you know, make me a lipstick, make me a mirror. I want to make her very oh. vain. And and the director was incredible. He just let me say whatever I wanted to say. I, and I love just let it. it fly, so. Well, because you were doing good. Like, I bet they were like, roll with it. It's yeah, amazing. Yeah, yeah. So how did you get your part? How was that audition it process? It was just an audition. I mean, I went and I didn't, I'd never seen the Power Rangers. So one day, the day I went, I turned it on and I saw Rita and I saw she was really over the top. And she had like weird colored hair. Yeah. So I, I put like a fake color thing in my hair, <laughs> a clip, and then I just went and like yeah. leather pants. And I auditioned, and, and Shuki Levy turned out to be, I had done a movie with his ex wife, Deborah Shelton, yeah. called Punk. And he said he always watched me shoot that movie and said, one day I'm going to work with that girl. And so I ended up, I three auditions later, I got the part. And such is life. Wow. So this is the thing. You are coming to conventions. I've got to get to know you. I'm so happy I have. And, and you really get to meet the fans at these conventions. Oh, it's so much fun. I had no idea. I mean, I was also on Star Trek Deep Space Nine, and I have been asked to do conventions over the years. And yeah. I really didn't know I had so many fans. So um, I, it was so nice to come out and see that people remembered me. Yes. People grew up with me. Their children watch me yes. now. And it's such a great, it's like the gift that keeps on giving. It's like they give us more than we could ever yeah, give them, it's right? Awesome. It's so amazing. So, so call and write all of the con promoters because if you ask for her, they will deliver exactly. her to you. Yes. So, um, How do they find you on social media? I am at The Real Diva Talks. I have a fan page on Facebook. I tweet at The Real Diva Talks, Hillary Shepard on Instagram. Yay. So, like my fan page, we have lots of cool pictures on there. Yes. I also have a book called Jesus that I wrote that's um i'm actually in talks to make into a cartoon which will be really cool oh i hope it's a great so book it's on amazon i'd love for you guys to read it and tell me how you like it Yay! and i also have a new show coming up um very soon it's going to be on bridalville.com where i do cosplay weddings and make different outfits and make different centerpieces and do it yourself things for cosplay weddings so bridalville.com busy busy woman you have to meet her she's amazing i love her thank you for being on uncensored talk you. Oh. see she's nice <laughs> been asking me who is the tall guy in all the pictures with you guys who is this mystery ranger and you know what he's an honorary ranger because he's our honorary. agent yeah. <laughs> Zach is the head of Galactic Productions that is me yeah when, when did you put together the, this whole thing and like decide I'm you gonna know, start representing talent and do the convention circuit I mean it's a brilliant December 16th 2006 so it'll be wow. eight years next month Wow. Yep. And who was your first client? Because I love this story. Uh, Peter Mayhew, Chewbacca, you know. <laughs> that guy. He's, see, exactly. He, he actually represents. Name some of the people you represent because you've uh, got a, a long A lot list. of the original Star Wars talent like Peter Mayhew, Dave Prowse, Jeremy Bullock. Uh, a lot of the Star Trek talent like George Takei, Nichelle Nichols. 
amazing. I mean, and now Power Rangers. And the Power Rangers. And now Power So he's he's the one guy who's pretty much the reason why you've been seeing us every weekend at a different con. He keeps us busy. You keep us so busy. I try. I try. Yeah. We're trying to hit every country. So Yeah, you know. yeah. You're living the dream here. I am. I, I know. I, I get to travel the world with people I grew up idolizing. It's a pretty good gig. So what is, like, one place that you, like... I'm so excited to go there because you've been almost uh, you've been almost everywhere now. You know, it was London. We were in London what two weeks ago. Yes. And I, I kind of felt like we got gypped. <laughs> like I had one day to see things, and then I had to fly home. And like London's the number one place yes. I wanted to go. See, he got gypped. I I went in early, so uh -huh. I didn't get gypped. Yeah. <laughs> but someone had to be behind the scenes taking care of stuff while others were out yes. traveling and sightseeing. Yes, because so. the thing is, is like I said, every city, every weekend we're at a different city. So just because we're in London this week and we're in Orlando, you know now and next week Rhode Island last week next week is what we're yeah Evansville I, yeah. or Allentown then all over if you're going to Australia yep. I'm going to be in Grand, Grand Rapids. Rapids like it's just on and on and on so yep. what's your goal because I mean obviously you're conquering the world the convention world what is your goal my goal I don't I don't even know I mean I've pretty <laughs> much you know I've gotten to do everything I want to yeah. do so now I just want to keep doing it it's all gravy now baby Tell us about we, your con, because you've got a con. My con. I have a show in Dallas called Dallas Comic and Pop Expo. Yes. Uh, the first one was last March. It was yes. a ton of fun, except, um, you know, <laughs> we had an ice storm in Everybody Dallas, got Texas. Everybody stuck. Yeah. <laughs> of course. So that was, you know, that was interesting, but we yeah. went with it. We had fun. We did karaoke at night and yeah. all sorts of stuff. So I it love was a lot it. of fun. I love it. You're Actually, you're very much living the dream, because I meet a lot of people who are at the shows and their dream is to like have their own show yep. and to be a part of the convention circuit and, and, and even manage talent. I yep. mean, and you're kind of doing all of that. Yep. It's, it's, and we've got it's people yelling for and no see, reason. And see, more craziness. More. Yeah. Oh my God, did you see that? Yeah, what, I know. Whoa. Whoa. Jason Fawn is wow. naked. Wow. Oh my gosh. And Jason, and, and, oh, yeah. Michael wow. Culpin Jason is naked. Fawn. Oh, oh my gosh. And Jason and Aaron. Oh, wow. Aaron. Oh my oh, goodness. Wham. These Time Force wow. people, man, they go crazy over here. Anyways, it was so great talking to you. Yeah, I talk to him it. every day, but I wanted you guys to meet him because he's the extraordinary Zachary McGinnis. Go like his page. Zachary the Fabulous. Zach, oh, the Mystery Ranger. The Mystery Ranger. Rainbow Ranger. Yeah, guys, make sure to follow Galactic Productions yes. so you can see all of our upcoming appearances. And if you see me at a show, come say hi. Yes, please do. Bye. Bye. Ashley, as we hit up some of the biggest cons in the United States and Canada. I am here at Power Morpha Con. I am in Orlando, Florida at Ranger Stop. I'm at Rhode Island Comic Con and catch up with some of your favorite icons. So you guys are going to lose your mind when you see this show. And I am so excited because I am here with the beautiful Christy Romano, Mr. Austin St. John. I'm the King of a Race. I am Catherine. Sutherland. My name is Steve Cardenas. We have the amazing Miss Michelle Nichols on the show. I'm Karen Ashley, and join me for the next Uncensored Talk. Because I mean, the thing is, is I've I've been able to kind of get back on the scene, um, at least the Power Rangers scene, by doing conventions and stuff. So I'm around the fans all the time. You know, I meet fans from all over the country, and one thing they've always wanted was they want more Power Rangers. You know, they don't. You know, they they get excited when there's a new season. They get excited when there's talk of possibly us coming back or speculation of us coming back and doing something. A lot of people really identified with the show, and I mean, the show. I think at one point they said we were in 90% of every household. So I mean, that that's bigger than any other kids show that had ever, you know, 
influenced anything. So when I found that they were going to do a new reboot, I mean, obviously, I, I, I think me and every other person who's been on Power Rangers, we want to be in it. <laughs> I'm like, come on, come on, call us. Um, but you know what? If we are, if we aren't, I don't, you know, I'm just happy for the fans because I know they wanted this for so long. And any fan, group of fans that have been around and have supported us, like supported us for 20 years, they deserve another movie. I want to introduce you guys to Pinklin Thomas. He is a world champion in boxing. That is some kind of accomplishment right there. You, you, you are an amazing man. I've heard so much about you. How are you? Well, thank you so much. I'm doing fine. Two-time world champion. Let me Look clarify here. that. If my mouth gets stuck, it's because this lady behind <laughs> me that gave me some chocolate that's out of this world. They, they're giving away chocolates at Ranger Stop, so you, you got to be careful. Yeah, and, uh, and it's really got me going. So anyway, <laughs> but yeah, I'm former heavyweight champion of the world, two-time heavyweight champion Amazing. of the world. I uh, was known to have one of the best left jabs in the business compared to some of the greats like Sonny Liston. Yeah. And um, I fought some of the likes of... Mike Tyson, Holyfield, Bo Morrison, Weaver Witherspoon, Burbick Tillis, just to name a few. Just to name a few, just to name like the top few. Yeah, That's like so. the most amazing group of men. <laughs> you, I, I'm just, I'm blown away. See, he's, he's a good guy to have. Uh, Power Rangers need to keep him around in case, in case it gets well, dirty. Well, thank you so much. We I'm can do the karate right kicks and you can do the punches. How about I can that? I do the sticky moves, the jab yeah. boxes, you name it, I can do it. That's right. And That's right. That now. Yeah, of I course. can't kick, though. But that's okay. We'll come in with the kicks and you oh, come in with the punches. Oh, good. We got a team. Good we'll stuff. tag team them. Good so stuff. this is the thing. I hear you have a very inspirational story because you didn't, you know, you kind of worked your way into boxing, but you had a pretty rough start in life yeah. and you were able to, I mean, turn all of that around and yeah. become a world, a two-time world champ. Yeah. Tell me about some of that. Wow. I don't even know where to start. I'll tell you. Uh, let me start from the beginning. Yes, please. Well, I, I grew up in Pontiac, Michigan, which was 23 miles outside of Detroit, Michigan. I grew up in the 70s. Right. You know, back in that day, it was a bunch of negative movies coming out, Come Back, Charleston Blue, Superfly, The Mac. And it was the, the, the drugs, the lifestyle, the cocaine, the heroin, and all that stuff was out. Right. And um, as a young man, as a kid, I got caught up in the rhythm of trying to live fast and, you know, thinking that was cool, you know. If it wasn't for elementary sports, I've won championships in the fourth, fifth, and sixth grade in all track, football, and basketball, and wrestling. Yeah. I was a gladiator as yes. a kid. Yes. But if it wasn't for that, and I didn't start fighting until I was 19, getting ready to turn 20. Right. And at that stage of the game, because of my lifestyle that I lived, I was always on the run. I was messed up. I was... Nothing wrong. It had me going. I'm going to lie. I got to clarify something, though. Today, I'm 25 years clean. Not today. Yay. Not today. But February the 10th, on my birthday, yes. I add another year. So right. I'm 25 years clean. And so, and so body. All I do is drink coffee. That is amazing. That yeah. is amazing. So what is your advice? Because this is the thing. Here at these conventions, there are a lot of kids. And they come, and, and they're, they're starting off in life. They have hard times in life. Yes. You obviously, you you fought a lot of demons, and yes. you fought a lot of a yes. lot of great fights yes. in your lifetime. Yes. What's your advice to them when it comes to taking a, a tough blow but getting back up? Well, this is what I do, and I do this now two days a week. I train kids. Uh, it don't matter what age they are, 8, 10, 12, 15. But what's most important to me is because everybody can't box. Everybody don't have the skill, can't take a shot or have brittle bones or what have you. But what I do with the kids and the parent, because they oh, my son ain't getting hit in his face. I said, okay. <laughs> but he don't have to get in his face. But all I want to do, I teach physical condition yeah. along, along with or boxing technique. It teaches them how to... Um, prepare not only for boxing but for whether it's basketball track football what have you if they want to be a speaker if they're going to be in academics it teach them discipline right. how to prepare 
for the unknown. Right. And I, more, last, more important. Yes. Apply these principles mm -hmm. that I teach on a physical basis in whatever uh, field that you may take up. Apply it to your life. Absolutely. Absolutely, because it's the mental as well as the physical yes. that got you through those tough fights. That's right. I mean, you fought Tyson, and you went yes. seven rounds. Yeah, I'm still That's... got my ears. I know, right? <laughs> wow, that was the toughest part. I know. I'm the watching, man. He, he's, 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 he's a, he's a slick one, that one, right? Yeah. It's so nice talking to you. You're like uh, a living legend. It's a pleasure. Living I mean. legend. Everyone always asks me, what is it like to be at a convention? Well, the great thing about a convention is you can get collectibles, you can buy toys, but you can also meet celebrities who will sign those toys. The cool part for me, though, is that you get to meet a lot of friends. I mean, look at all the people here. These are all friends that you can hang out with and get your autographs. Only at Ranger Stop. I am with the handsome Michael Copon. Oh my God. You know, you're the only person that I, when they people saw the, the cover that I was going to be here, they were like, um, can you please bring him home with me? Like, <laughs> bring him home because I want to meet him. Like, girls love you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I I'm, I like that. I yeah, mean, <laughs> yeah, right. He likes girls. It's I like great. girls, so that's a good thing. So I'm so happy we got to do this con because we actually yeah. got to really meet and get to know each other. We've met before, but yeah. it's like but so it's so quick. quick. Yeah, yeah. It's not that it's not that fun when you don't get yeah. to really meet each other and talk. We went to Universal and like I find out all these great things about you. Like you're an amazing singer. Yeah, I do sing. And amazing actor. <laughs> How did you get your part on Power Rangers? Because that's the big thing that people always ask. How yeah. was the audition? Well, for me, it was uh, I was 17 when I moved to LA, and um, I didn't really have any, uh, you know, financial support. My, my family, uh, we come from a really poor situation, so right. I had a 1982 Toyota pickup truck. I love that, it. Same age as me, and uh, I slept in the cab. Uh, had a camper shell, and I found a twin mattress, and I slept in that for about six and a half months. Oh my god! Even up until my audition for Power Rangers, went in that day, audition, and it was my first audition, and somehow I connected to the role because I had to deal with a father-son issue and um, I've had some you know issues with my first stepfather who, you know like uh, he committed suicide when I was younger so it was like it was really pressuring me like the, the, the father on this so it was just like I connected even though I wasn't an actor and somehow beat out everyone and became the Blue Ranger. Wow so you were really a success story because the thing is is like you know they think you just kind of walk into an audition they think you kind of came from yeah. it but you like started Literally from nothing. L literally from something. nothing. And, and, and then, you know, the, the truth of the matter is, uh, after Power Rangers, I, I thought, wow, this is easy, but it wasn't. Right. I, I, kept, <laughs> I kept track of every audition. I had 1,482 no's oh before I got one more yeah for One Tree Hill. Oh, my gosh. See, but that's such a cool story because the reality is you get more no's in life than you ever get yeses. Mm -hmm. And here you are. You, I mean, you've done a lot of work. Like, I was looking at your table, and I was so impressed with, oh, like, your you. resume. <laughs> Uh, Thank you're, you. Like you are, you were an actor, and you didn't yeah. know. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. I well, my mom said I was always gonna be because I used to take her video camera away, and I'd film myself, and I'd be the commentary. I would do the commentary. I'd be, you know, like, hey, today we're at my sister's birthday. Yeah. And yeah, I love it. So what is some advice you can give to the fans? Because I know they always come to the table and they always, you know, they tell you their stories and it's just amazing what the show has done for them. Yeah. What's some advice you would give to them to, you know, maybe get started in the in, in the industry of acting or maybe just get out through a rough time because you've obviously done that. Yeah, I mean, I guess the biggest the biggest advice I give to anyone is to find a goal um, and, and go after that goal and just never give up. I Never mean, give at the up. End of, at the end of the day, you know when I tell people, a lot of people, uh, they say, I'm, you know, I'm gonna try acting for a year and then and then go and then go back to school. But you know what? Can you be a doctor in a year? No. You can't. Can you lifetime be a president in a year? No. no. Exactly. Same thing with this business. Yeah. Lifetime commitment. How many no's was that? One one thousand four hundred and thirty-two no's. I love it. I love it. Where they can they find you? Because people want to know your social media. They oh yeah. Want to be your friend. They Instagram is the the. Uh, most um, used social media yes. outlet I use. Uh, it's just Michael Copon. Yes. It's C O P O N. Go like right. his page. He's amazing. <laughs> Thank you for doing Uncensored Talk. Thank you. Thank ah. you. And Love you guys. Ladies, I will try to put him in my suitcase, but I don't know if he's going to be down with it. <laughs>
the band. Boogie with 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 the band. Come on, Jason. Come on. Boogie with the band. Boogie with the band. Thank you.